Train Spotting is directed by Danny Boyle, and it once again follows the gang from the 1996 film Train Spotting. Fun fact: I had actually never watched the original Train Spotting film until the night before I went and saw this movie. I don't really know why I never did watch it because obviously I do like Danny Boyle's work. So I wanted to see when I watched the original film, as I wanted to see if it really could benefit from a sequel and if it was really warranted at all. And I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Not only did I really like that movie, but I could totally see how a sequel could be made. There's one scene with Mark where he's talking about how if this deal doesn't go well, then his friend is probably looking at 15 to 20 years in prison. Now, I'm no mathematician, but 1996 was about 20 years ago. I was actually really surprised with how much I like Trainspotting 2. This is a really awesome movie. Typically when you have sequels that come like 20 or so odd years after the original film like Dumb and Dumber 2, Zoolander 2, My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, they usually are complete failures. And what typically happens with those films is they lazily depend on nostalgia for the fans and they constantly pander to them the entire time and just try to repackage moments from the original movie just 20 years later. And I'm not saying Transpotting 2 doesn't do that because there are a few scenes in this movie, but what typically happens in those other bad films is that is the entire focus of the film is just recapturing old jokes or old gags. Because in this movie there is another scene where Mark essentially does get hit by another car, but it's not to the point where I was like annoyed the entire movie. It wasn't offensive. And that brings me to my favorite part about Trainspotting 2 is this movie feels like it's a necessary sequel. It feels like it takes a story for the first film and takes it to a natural place that doesn't feel contrived at all. And I was actually very surprised that some of the themes that this movie deals with, like growing older, and how some actions from your uh, adolescence, like doing heroin frequently, yeah, it's gonna jack up your life when you're an adult. And how giving a heroin addict thousands of dollars is probably not a good thing. The serious tone does come at a cost. This entire film didn't really feel as punk rock as the original Trainspotting did. That entire movie felt like a big middle finger to society, whereas this movie feels a lot more conventional. I personally didn't mind that shift in tone because as I said, I've only seen the first film one time, so I really didn't have that strong attachment to it, whereas some fans that are going into this movie trying to recapitulate what they felt in the original Trainspotting, they might be a little disappointed. With that being said, Danny Boyle still directs a really smart, quick and funny movie, but even his directorial style isn't as hyper stylized as the original film is. Mostly because a lot of the characters in this movie are not high on heroin the entire film. It doesn't quite have that frenetic energy that the original film does, but it's still incredibly well directed. This is a gorgeous looking movie with a lot of cool shots. Overall, T2 Train Spotting was actually kinda awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a nice companion piece to the original film and takes these beloved characters into an organic direction in a way that doesn't feel like a contrived cash grab. Danny Boyle still manages to encapsulate the humor of the original film, but not the raw punk rock feel. Like I said, that could be a good or bad thing. If you're wanting to watch this movie and just have it do the exact same thing that the first film did, you're probably going to be disappointed. But if you want to see something new and something fresh, then you should really enjoy this movie. So did you guys see T2 and Train Spotting? What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video and if you did click on the link down below subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and related things again thank you so much for watching and see you next time